And we are live, Victoria. <laughs> oh my God, this is Super Show 381. Welcome to Feel It Real Fun, Victoria and Bruce. Thank you. And Emmett. And Emmett. Come on, buddy. Showtime. Where are you? Okay. So no one's joined yet. All righty. Zero people on the show. All righty. So we started promptly on time. Bob, welcome to the show. Let Let's us get know. Bob, 381. Hi. If you hear us and you see us, that would be cool. Yeah. So boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Bruce. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, uh, Joe with an E. Joe with an E. Bruce Hello. All righty. So let us know that you can hear us. We will continue with the show. Bob says yes. Cool. I love that. That means he can we, hear we us. put out a course with it. And see us. <laughs> Hello, right, Herbe. Herbe. NJ. Yeah. Tanya. Yeah. We love Hello, you guys. And Emma. everyone's here. Sandy. Welcome. Karen. Oh, my God, guys. Tell you what, what a weekend. What a weekend. We are going to be talking about the super surprise things, right? That's oh, right. my God. And. The hearing calls. And. Ooh. And. Oh. And. Yes. We will be. We've got a Neville Goddard quote, Timeless Wisdom of the Ages. Yes. All sorts of things, all inspired by a reader email. Cool. But we don't have that. But that's okay. We don't have the reader email. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> right, we were busy setting up things. We're going to surprise Bob, please. All right. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So let's do the housekeeping while everybody shows up. Emmett, tell them where to go. Go to freenevel.com. And while they're at freenevel.com, Emmett, what should they do? They should join Manifesting Mastery. Oh, my God. They? By the way, if you do it now, Christmas is coming. You'll be done by Christmas. Wow. If you don't, your Christmas will suck like it did last year. Hello, Bruce Rook. <laughs> <laughs> just having fun. Yeah, just about <laughs> Seriously, right? make it all in before Christmas. Yeah, why not? Something what is the date today? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Today's the day where I pull out a bunch of papers to start doing my 1040 from last year because uh, I only have two more of those to do, and I never do them ever again. Oh, oh lovely. That's, that's good. That's right. Yeah, I know. Okay, hello. Well, Downtown with Barbara Brown. What's the other thing? Joined. Oh, yeah. Uh, feel it real fun. Dot com. That's, that's right. right for that's where you go refunds. for the refunds. You know, you, yeah. can, you can watch this for hours, guys. You can make so much popcorn. <laughs> oh, my God. It's amazing. So, Victoria, yes. would you like to read the Neville Goddard quote today? <laughs> or, boy. or shall I censure? You shall. Look All at right. that. <laughs> now, Neville says, nothing has ever happened to you that you did not set in motion with your imagination. I hmm. tell you, you can be anything you want to be, but when you voice your request, your desire must be genuine. And it doesn't mean say it, okay? We all know that. It's assuming the state of the wish fulfilled. Using, yeah. Anyway, Neville says, you must want it so that you're, you must want it. You must so want it, that's it, that you are willing to remain faithful to your change in position. Oh, by the way, we, we just did this in a show a week or two back, right? So it would have been like show 375 or 370. Yeah, I remember the quote. Now, here's why we bring it up today. What's Ready? That? People talk about these surprises things. Like, how did Victoria get those flowers? She didn't specifically imagine them. I love those flowers. They're right? my favorite ones did, up did, on the table. Do you imagine getting those on Sunday? No. I didn't. But you got them. Yes. Why? 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 Remember, Neville says, nothing has ever happened to you that you did not set in motion in your imagination. Oh, now, this scarf, right? Granted, I am a snazzy dresser, guys. I mean, like, <laughs> seriously, I don't have fashion, but I do have style. And in my style, right? Now, do you think I could just sit here in the morning and go, Yes, I will buy that lovely flowered scarf today that I've never seen before outside of Coles by the guy who wants to go to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right? Yeah. Leah is here. Yeah, Angela and, is and here. top of the day. Now, now watch this, guys. Ready? Here's how I got the lovely, the love scarf. And yeah. how I got the, the flowers. beautiful flowers. Right? You set things in motion by the sum total of what you assume to be true, not just what you're feeling real for. So this is where we're going to do the crass commercial for how to manifest a baby because everybody should get that course, not just people that want to have babies. Ready? Here's one of the things we explore in there. Just one. Ready? Let's say Victoria. Now, let's say I'm imagining. Oh, fuck it. Somebody's got to imagine having a baby, right? Right. <laughs> and so uh, shall I or shall you? Are you sure? <laughs> I think that'll be good fun. So I'm imagining having a baby, getting pregnant. Yay, yay. Cool, cool. Baby, baby. Nice, nice. 
right? Yeah. Baby, baby, nice, nice. Now, meanwhile, remember, Neville says, it should be pretty straightforward. Nothing has ever happened to you that you do not set in motion with your imagination. You must want it so that you are willing to remain faithful to your change in position. So here's the cool thing, ready? Yeah. Single, or well, pregnant, pregnant. Yeah, me and Victoria having baby, baby, <laughs> right? But what else if I, am I imagining? I'm 51, right? Uh, yes. All right, you know, 51, having a baby. I mean, <laughs> means you're going to uh, be 70, yeah. rocking up to pee yeah, tonight. Yeah. 70, <laughs> rocking up, yeah, like, you know, okay, how's little Victoria doing, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll get her to keep those skirts below knee, right? That's what, the, that's what we said back in Catholic school. Skirts were below knee. No. <laughs> below knee. <laughs> yeah, the nuns all said they had to be below knee. We all said below knee. So, anyway. I went to a school where you had to every assembly once a week because you, your dresses had, were only allowed to be one inch Not above your knee when kneeling. Damn, so st- they'd make us all kneel. <laughs> to check the line of the skirts. I would have just ridiculous. Lived, I would have lived to have seen that. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Oh, Yasmin's joined in, Sarah Jane Scott. <laughs> Hi, uh, All right. So Debbie, get out, so get how cool this is. Ready? Yes. Why is it that some people that are imagining having babies don't? I, I wonder if I could actually have a healthy baby. I'm 51. Or, you know what? I, as a single mom... I'm a single mom. Well, whoa, wait a second. I mean, as a single girl, I mean, I could do all right. Get another guy if he leaves me, all that good stuff. But as a single mom, a lot of guys don't like chicks with kids, especially kids that are whacked like mine would be <laughs> since I'm 51 years old having a baby, right? <laughs> you get it? Mm. It's the whole thing that you're imagining, right? So we explore some really cool ways to take care of all that stuff, actually bring it out so you can take care of it in that course, along with yeah. a bunch of other things, yeah. right? Because it's all about making babies. Yes, it is. It's which my, my, mm-hmm. I don't know how much it came up in the course because I have read all the material, but the buns in the oven—they're yep. all babies. They're all babies. They're all waiting to be born. <laughs> Ab- absolutely. <laughs> and it's like that. <laughs> absolutely. So here's the thing, guys. Let's rewrap it around and retwist it around. Why did Victoria get flowers? Okay, why did I get the lovely scarf? Again, I've got this thing called style. I imagine that I am a <laughs> styling guy, right? Yes. So I don't got to imagine getting the scarf. Because you're okay? a styling guy. Because I'm a styling guy. By you the way, it. but when I come out of Coles and I see the guy there and I see scarves and I go, oh, my God, scarves, right? <laughs> then I imagine what would it be like to wear them on the show because it breaks up the black shirt. You know, I've got a, a dozen so black shirts. So is it like, because right? um, there's a mix there because that guy – was also living in the state of going to Greece. Going to Greece. He was selling scarves. So he was scarves. looking for guys just like you that were styling guys. <laughs> styling guys so he can go to Greece. and buy five scarves. Right. So it's like two worlds collided. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it is. Yeah. So get how cool it is. How did Victoria get the flowers? She didn't sit here and go, flowers today, flowers today, flowers today. She just knows as a well-loved wife, as a loving and lovely wife who loves flowers, who loves those specific flowers, right, that they show up. Mm. Not even that, mm. that, that, that she enjoys them in our home. So all she has to do is just feel like loving, appreciated wife. Right? By the way, it's Sunday morning. I'm at the dog park. She could go around here and be grumpy, grumpy Gus Gus. He <laughs> doesn't appreciate what I do. All he does is go to the dog park and play with the dogs well, I while I slave up. here <laughs> while he's gone. And by the way, do you think that would that would change something? Right? Yeah. I'd probably so. drive past the tent and go, hey, nice flower guy. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I don't feel the urge. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. This is how much fun it is, guys. <clears throat> So it's that sum total thing. Yeah. That's how you get surprises. By the way, some people, when they hear the word surprise, they're like, I, I don't want surprises. I want to control everything. Yeah. Right? You get why? Because you're actually imagining something fearful. Okay? What if he leaves me? What if I'm 51 and I have the baby and it's got four eyes? You know, what if? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. We get the emails. Right? I'm imagining a baby, but I'm really scared to have one. Oh, yeah, what are you scared? Well, he's going to leave me. It's going to have four eyes. I'm old, you know. I mean, imagine, I mean, they, me and, you know, little oh, Victoria are going to go to the thing and they're going to say, oh, you brought your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah. it? Right? Yes. And by the way, does anybody here know any grandmas that are hot? Right? 
Okay. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, like, you know, you know, there's some people that are 50 that look old yeah. because they imagine old. Yeah. Okay. There's some people that are 70. I mean, there's this lady at the health food store. She's amazing. And right? one of the dog puppies to know. Yeah, and one of the dog. Yeah, exactly. Spinonis, Just gorgeous. Is amazing. Right? It's yeah. like, I mean, you find out, oh, she's 75. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Bill Perry says, hot or hot flashes. Oh, my God, Bill Perry. Bill Perry. <laughs> Bill Perry, the official link guy is here. Link guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> How to manifest a baby.com. By the way, here's a success story from the weekend. Ready? Yes. So last week, I'm on the Marie Bernard show. I don't know if she's aired this yet. Yeah. But among other things, she said, well, how can you find out about the course? Do you go to howtomanifestababy.com or something like that? Or maybe I said it. I don't know. And I said, I don't know. I mean, I haven't bought that yet. Uh, but I just had a little tiny imaginal act of having that domain and having what I want set up on it. Right? If you want to buy a .com anymore, how to manifest a baby.com is not an easy one to get. It should be impossible, right? Because how to do something.com is all taken. I, I can yeah. probably buy how to manifest a baby.club. Ooh, that sounds like a club. Or how to manifest <laughs> a baby.us. But well, since I'm not in the US anymore, I can't buy those. Well, I could get how to manifest a baby.com.au. But I'd have to prove that's associated with my business through a bunch of paperwork. Fuck, man. <laughs> or I could buy a manifest of baby dot is for 150 bucks a year from Finland. No, <laughs> yeah, Iceland. Was. Iceland. Right? <laughs> or I can buy how to manifest a baby.com because that's what everybody types in. And so I imagine that and I go and guess what? I get it for nine bucks. <laughs> nine bucks. Nine it? bucks. Yeah, they even gave me a discount Sweet. coupon. They never give me a discount coupon. <laughs> Cool. Boom. <laughs> so Angela's hot is in the flashes now. Yes, right. Angela, hot, I saw you say, hot, how late am I? Hot, hot, hot. You probably want to watch the refund because we we started <laughs> oh, we right on time today. It. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bill says, if you can't get the dot .com, then pick a different domain. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, seriously. I mean, like, I yeah. wish they'd put out, you know, something dot .corn. I think that would be good fun. You know? Corn? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, how to manifest a baby dot .corn. Dot .corn? Yeah. <laughs> this sort of looks like calm. Right, yeah, but it's not. Is oh, it? all right. Okay. Anything else, anyone? I think Yash said he was going to post up a question, but I haven't seen it yet. So yeah. Meanwhile, we'll see if there's any coffee in. Oh, oh, oh the dregs. Is, is Yash even here? I haven't seen him. No. Okay. All right. So how do we do, guys? Yes. Dooby 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 doo. If they had Cream done. corn. <laughs> if they had corn domain, says Bill, I'd get cream.corn. That's right. Wouldn't that, right. That's Uncle Bill. He's yeah, silly. He's we funny. love Uncle Bill. Actually, I used to make a really nice sweet corn soup out of the cream corn. You know, that egg and chicken and yeah, yeah, yeah. Spring onion that. and garlic. That's right. Very nice. Oh, Probably bad, really. Bad, bad, everyone. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So, ready? Yes. How to manifest a baby.com. Yes. <laughs> Why not go there and get that? By the way, the second person that got that was Tim, right? Yes. And I shouldn't be telling you this, but I do, right? <laughs> because Tim was on the Yes Method Mastermind group call. Yes. He's been with me for like 10 years or something. And he knows everything that I uh, put out deals with everything. It, you know, this specifically has to do with let's have a bubby. Let's have a bubby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it also is about getting a bubby, right? This little bow. And it really is how we got Emily and Bruce. So have fun, guys. How to manifest a baby.com. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. What'd you learn? What'd you learn about you? And what was your best bits? Oh, God. All those <laughs> extra fingers up. <laughs> and. Yes. Uh, oh, com. how oh. to manifest a baby.com. Thank you, cool. Bill. All right. All <laughs> cool. All right. All right. What do you reckon? We're going to the dog park, guys. Yeah. May you have a lovely day and be blessed and have fun and yeah. have fun and be blessed. We'll go to the Remember, making park. babies should be fun, just like feeling it real. I'd love when people tell us I struggle with it. Really, you're putting it in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not just talking about making babies either, am I? No. It's all babies. Good boy. Are we I love you. Oh, I love you. Dog park. Oh, yay, we're going to the dog park. Look at him. That's his new thing. I had not have a baby with four eyes. Dot com. Yep. <laughs> there you go. I love you. I love him, man. And Brucey and Mama. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. Have, have a, a great lovely night. day. Great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Boom. Bye. <laughs>